want the, uh, the the full effect of seeing that these hands are not on the wheel. Not on the wheel. Because otherwise, it, you know, you could. <laughs> well, the first thing to say is that, that obviously these cars are test vehicles right now, and we're operating them in a standard test mode where we we have two uh, drivers. I'm the safe, playing the role of the safety driver today, and uh, Steve's being the the software operator, um, and. Uh, so one of the things that the cars do when we're in this mode is we make sure that they're they're checked out. So they're running they're running our sort of standard tests and stuff like that. So you're in full control right, right now. Right now I'm in full control. It's just a regular car. Uh -huh. I can do whatever I want. I can do U-turns. I can do donuts. Um, but when we get the car into uh, where it's ready, it'll tell me it's ready there, for example. Uh -huh. And then I have uh, two basic buttons on the screen uh, on the steering wheel. I have an on button and an off button, and I just uh, push the on button. Auto driving. And now I. I'm off. Um. And then, so if you, uh, I can walk you through what we're seeing on the screen too. Um, yeah. If you have any questions. Well, the first question is like, you have pre-programmed the route. You've told the car, I want to go here. We haven't. We, or at least we can operate in both of those modes. So one way, you know, if we want to sh take a particular route, we can totally pre-program the route and tell it exactly what to do. Most of the time, the car is choosing its own route through the world. In other words, uh, we have told it that we want to get from one point to another, uh, and it is analyzing the potential routes, and it's picking the, the particular streets and, and turns that it thinks are most suitable to get there. Now, I see it's blinking. It's going to make a right turn. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, you've programmed it to know that the state vehicle code says you have to be signaling at a certain point before you make a turn? That's right. That's right. So. Um, there are certain regulations about when you're supposed to make the start signaling before the turn, and then there's the art behind turn signals. Because when you're making a lane change, for example, you're supposed to turn on your turn signal in anticipation of the lane change. But humans use their turn signal as really as a signal that they want to get in. So if you're trying to, for example, open up a gap in a line of traffic that's adjacent to you, it turns out it's actually a fairly sophisticated problem to um, to know when it's hopeless and you shouldn't turn on the light the turn signal and know when we, we've got a chance and it's worth turning it on to see if someone will give you a little bit of room. And so we we uh, juggle those different factors and that's what lets us understand when to turn on turn signals. Humans are the only real drivers out there so if you're looking for another uh, you know system that drives you're looking at humans. Mm -hmm. And humans do a lot of uh, not so great stuff on the road especially when they're not paying attention or when uh, you know when they're mad or whatever whatever but when a human is really paying attention they do use certain strategies that are not immediately a, you know obvious um, why they are using that strategy right off with the, the Prius sure tell me tell me what the, this is a, a big this is a fast mm -hmm. street so what's, yeah. the, what's the car and I don't want to use the word thinking but what's 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 going on with the so car what right the car's now? doing here right now is it knew that there was a stop line there now we're past the stop line and it's trying to find there we go it's deciding to really get on it it jammed the gas because because it saw that vehicle coming up behind and it's it, judging its speed and it's judging its speed yeah. and, it, and it figured I mean it actually figured that really it wanted to uh, it wanted to get into traffic um, it saw the gap there and it was trying to, it, you know, it, it basically estimates whether it's able to merge in with traffic with sort of a minimum of perturbation to the other vehicles. So, so how soon before these are ready, or this technology is ready for, for me to buy it or rent it? Yeah, um, it's, a tough, it's a tough one. Um, we have at various stages said things like, I mean, Chris, the, the director, the lead of the, the self-driving car project, has a I think 12 year old son at this point and he hopes to uh, get the get these vehicles ready before his son has to get a driver's license so um, you know so opinions vary but pretty soon really pretty soon